T-Squad, come on in, come on in. The boys are fighting, okay? Have you seen this footage of Jacquees assistant online talking about an altercation that happened between Quavo and Jacquees where allegedly Quavo put the paws on Jacquees. Girl, this is a fool. Now, if y'all don't remember, literally about a month ago, I did a story on how Jacquees baby mama, Deandra Sanders, got into it online with his, oh, she's his A&R, not his assistant, Reese. They had a little back and forth or whatever, right? And we didn't hear anything else about it. Well, this same girl went online replaying this altercation that allegedly happened between Jacquees and Quavo. So apparently... Jacquees was being disrespectful at Takeoff's birthday celebration, and that's what fueled everything. Let's take a look at what she had to say. Y'all are texting, and then it gets to where he, he trying to raise his head like he about to try to hit you to where Quavo had to get in and lock the shit out of him. Like, I just... That's what... I, and then... I, you see oh, Reese them, they yeah, tell you see, in the comments. I know Reese got them, but <laughs> <laughs> the, the, I, DeAndre whole family for her. But did, did you see when I was fumbling around trying to get that bottom every glass, every bottle I grabbed was plastic. plastic. By the time that they, they, the security seen me looking for the bottles could be off and get to that. Well, Reese, I wasn't gonna let you hit that girl. Oh, I'm gonna crazy. get it to I was gonna get it to That's why me and Keller had to look. Killer had to get her ass up out of there. I'm gonna give it to her before I know the security was telling her to get out. You got to go. They put that out before Jacquees got put out. That hoes outside by herself. But if she said, they told her, Oh, I, 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 I'm not leaving him. They said, Baby, your best bet is to leave because, baby, they seen me scrambling. I was finna get to that. I had to fuck that prep bitch when I seen the rumbling and scumbling going on back there, baby. baby. When I, I was finna get to her. I was finna get, I'm going to violate and her baby I'm going to you talked about my kids about the left field because Quavo Bond put it this way just give you the, the context this is the private friends and family like close friends and family celebration of life for takeoff commemorating his 30th birthday he just got the day named after him. You know, it's officially takeoff day. The vice president. This whole thing. So it's a, 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 a good vibe, but chill, still kind of somber vibe. Because we still mourning somebody who everybody really loves. So now here you got his grandma and his mama and his siblings there. So out of respect, you would just expect that if you come into something like that, for somebody that's deceased, you would go, you would be like, uh, just a hello, uh, uh, condolences or something to. First of all, what in the mucinex <laughs> is going on here? Why they both sound like the gross sisters, all that mucus and talking through their nose and. Just sounding nasty, like they get a wig check, social security check, crazy check, welfare check, shoot, stamps, section eight. Both of them sound like they live in the projects, the Peabody's at that. How is this lady anybody's A&R? Like, uh, A&R is somebody that works for a record label who is hiring this lady at, and at what record label like that that gotta be made up gotta be made up because ain't no way first of all she's unprofessional as i don't know what i mean she can barely talk secondly she don't seem like she even got a high school education let alone a college degree what is going on here first of all 
when her and DeAndre got into it about a month or two ago and she went online blasting DeAndre and saying all of this stuff about her, she should have been fired right then and there. Right then and there. I don't understand how they could have possibly still been working together after that. Now we have this situation where she's alleging that Jaquise tried to attack her and physically assault her and that Quavo had to jump in and hit him. And she said that she was trying to pick up bottles and stuff to hit DeAndra while pregnant and still saying, I'm going to mess her and her baby up. Like what in the world is going on? Now I can understand you feeling some type of way if DeAndra has been talking crazy about you and your children. I get that 1000%. Believe her baby out of it. Like, and she was dead serious that she was going to try to do harm to that girl, even with her being pregnant, which is crazy to me. And then you get online saying this stuff. This is how I know she ain't working for nobody's record label for real, for real. I don't even understand how Jaquise hired her to do anything for him. Is she a family friend? <laughs> is she a cousin? What is happening here? Both of them sounded a yucky mess. If they don't take some thorough flu and go to bed. And then as far as DeAndra is concerned, why are you in the club? I thought you was having a high risk pregnancy. Why are you in a, a club celebration, whatever type of environment? Go home and sit down and rest your womb, girl. This is supposed to be your miracle, baby. They told you you couldn't even have kids at one point. So I would think that you would be doing everything in your power to ensure that you have a safe and healthy pregnancy. Meanwhile, you in the club, while this man allegedly fighting and getting thrown out by security, talking about some, I ain't going nowhere without him. Girl, anything could have popped off. Anything. And one thing that that girl said that, uh, her family don't mess with her child let's just say for her baby shower the only family she had from the Sanders side that was there was her brother Bucky and that's because they got the same mama and came up in the same house together but Shiloh uh, Shador um Shalomai were not there he her daddy wasn't there her grandmama wasn't there wasn't none of them there none of them she facetimed her daddy but that goes to show you everything ain't nobody fooling with her in that ghetto tail mess and like her daddy said in a video that she did early on in her pregnancy he was like if i'm gonna have anything to do with it as far as financially you need to come to Oklahoma where I'm at, Nebraska, wherever he at, child. You need to be where I'm at. And she need to go and be with her father, somebody that can talk some sense to her because DeAndre is a 30-year-old fool. She really is. Like the fact that you're even involved in this ghetto mess and your last name is Sanders is a mess. Your siblings, your little brothers are literally out here doing Nike campaign commercials for your father's shoe re-edition dropping and you up here involved in this Maury Povich, Jerry Springer, Jenny Jones mess. I don't even understand why you got pregnant by this little boy. Like, first of all, and it's been nothing but drama and toxicity from the start. You got into it with his ex-girlfriend. He was apparently hitting her up, cheating on you, saying he didn't want to be with you. Then on top of that, you're getting into it with this A&R lady. Now she was trying to fight you while pregnant. He up here fighting at a takeoff celebration party. Like, girl, what is going on with your life? Like, what do you have going on outside of all of this BS? She ain't working. She ain't got no job. She don't do her YouTube channel like that for real, for real no more. So it's like, what do you have going on? What do you have going on? Her and Shalomai, the, the little sister... Need to get it together. Get it together or forget it forever. And DeAndra need to grow up. She's so busy trying to stay in Atlanta to see what this man doing when she blocking her own blessings because this relationship is not meant to be. And God is trying to tell her that and show her that in so many different ways, but she keep on fighting it because she want to, I guess, show the world that this being with him wasn't a mistake and that 
it's th- th- their relationship is going to work out and it's not it's not get your baby let him be a father and you go on about your business because this is so embarrassing this is so embarrassing not just for you and your child but your whole family like you could be out here wheeling and dealing Working for your father, making a career for yourself. And instead, you want to be in ghetto Atlanta, running behind some little boy that can't even get on children's rides. Girl, if you don't get your life in order and fast for this baby, for this little boy, because this is unacceptable. Like, you got a baby that could literally be born doing campaigns and everything else just because he's Deion Sanders' first grandchild. First of all, let's just rewind and talk about that. This is your father's first grandbaby. You and as a boy. Oh, Dion about to go crazy, but I don't think Dion gonna go crazy if you still out here doing this type of foolishness. Now he's trying to have your back in public, but you steady are making a fool out of yourself. You literally are. And it's really disheartening. Really disheartening. And I noticed on the last video I did on DeAndra that I guess she must have watched it and had her people in my comment section or whatever trying to talk slick at the mouth. Girl, while you sitting up here watching my YouTube videos getting mad and having your little people in my comment section, you need to be taking heed to what somebody that is older than you was trying to tell you because I've been there and done that. Okay? You need to get your life in order ASAP because you got a whole child that's about to be looking at you and you do not want your child to think that this type of behavior is okay because it's not it's not cute y'all both too old for this and it's just it's it's ghetto it's ghetto it's I don't know what it really honestly is Ugh. Jacquees seemed like he is childish he seemed like he out here playing games. He seemed like he's running a game on you. I think that he likes being associated with you because of your last name and who your father is. But other than that, I don't really think that he see it for her like that. I really don't. I think that he's happy he's having a baby. But I do not think that he sees long term with this girl at all. She sees long term with him because she's trying to have this family, I guess, that she didn't have growing up because her parents got divorced when she was little. But girl, stop trying to fit a square into a pig hole or whatever the, the analogy is. First of all, he ain't even five feet tall. Girl, what is you thinking? Girl, I ain't got time for this foolishness. Y'all let me know down below in the comment section what y'all think about this. Please make sure to thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your post notifications so you know when my videos drop. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.